Hello, my name is Miguel with the Glock Store Performance Center. And a lot of you know that I've done a lot of concealed carry videos and concealed carry work and instructionals. And uh, been around the concealed carry business for 25, 30 years. Uh, I know a lot about holsters. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, videos for other manufacturers as well as for now some of the holsters that we're making. In fact, uh, as you know, we make holsters specifically for guns with lights. So if you've got a gun and a light combination and you're looking for a holster, we can definitely help you out. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was, you know, kind of tinkering around looking for a solution for a, uh, a kind of a low-cost holster that would provide a good method of concealed carry. And I came up with it, and I like to call it what I, what I have termed the $30 holster because basically it's $30. And this is it right here. You can see right here, it's a very simple Kydex holster. Uh, and it's meant to work with Glocks right now. We are making some other guns, but right now it's for Glocks, all the models of Glocks that you can imagine. And it goes in nice and easy. Uh, first of all, let me go ahead and show you that the gun is in fact unloaded. And keeping it pointing in a safe direction at all times. Uh, this is my little carry gun. It's a little G27. You can see we've got our uh, stippled grips on it. One thing that you, is different about this gun is I've got the... Uh, the uh, magazine sleeve on the, the magazine of a G23, the compact or mid-size Glock, that I'm using in my mini or subcompact G27. So it gives me a full-size grip with the mini slide, a very concealable and a very effective little package. And, you know, I love this thing. So this is the gun that I carry and, and use on a regular basis. Uh, we came up with a holster, like I said, that was very simple, lightweight, low profile, super thin, you know, I mean, some holsters tend to get a little bit bulky themselves, so they're hard to conceal. Now, uh, you'll see it's going to slip right in and, and cover the trigger guard as it's supposed to. Uh, it's got a little small hook here, which is the hook that actually keeps it positioned in the pants. So the way this works is basically you bring it up and you put the, uh, the hook in between the pants and the belt. And then you slide that underneath the belt and get it positioned. And then just bring the belt up just a little bit just to hook it into the hook. And there it is. And I've got a body style where I can actually carry this gun here comfortably all day long. And you can see, you know, I can actually bring the gun out in a heartbeat if I need to. And to conceal it, well, it could be a t-shirt over top of that. Or I could be wearing a, a jacket or, a, you know, another shirt kind of like this, that guy straightened out there, and one, I could just leave it like so, or, you know, one button, you know, which is kind of the style right now. You can leave your, uh, your shirt unbuttoned nowadays, and uh, no one would ever know. Of course, to get to the gun, just simply get that button off there, get down, and boom, come right out. So that's one way you can wear this thing. It's not going to go anywhere because it's, it's captured here by this hook. Now, to take it off, obviously just undo the hook, and pull the whole holster out, okay? This same um, uh, method of carry uh, inside the waistband, of course, can be accomplished in a more traditional spot, which is back here in the kidney area. So to do that, I'm gonna do the same thing, just slide this down there. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen my belt too to make this a little bit easier in the backside because I can't see it as well. Slide it down like so, get the belt positioned and capture right there on the hook. And all you see really is, is that little hook there. And then tighten the belt back down. And again, I can carry that. And what's nice about this method of carry, it's really kind of out of the way, so it's flat up front. But you can also check it with your hand a little bit with your elbow and know it's there. So I know it's kind of there just by touching it. Uh, by rubbing my arm against it, I know it's there as well. And you can see it's actually very concealed, even though I don't have a jacket on. So a t-shirt over top of this is going to work really well. And obviously, it's pretty low profile. And you just get back in there and get a good grip and come back out and shoot the gun. So that's basically it for this holster. It's very simple, very effective, lightweight, and low cost. It is our $30 holster. Like I said, it's the one that I really like. And you can see that you're never going to tell that you're carrying, but for access, we want to always clear the clothing, get a good grip, come up and shoot. It all starts with a good grip. Don't hurry the gripping process. When you go back to reload, always the fingers outside of the trigger guard area, 
We, uh, with a Glock, we like to keep our thumb up on top of the slide like so, so that we can keep it so it doesn't get pushed out of battery as we're, as we're hitting it in the holster. So we keep it here like so, and we come back in, anchor it nice and tight, and there it is. Cover it up, you're carrying concealed, you're safe, you're ready. I'm Lenny McGill. Thanks for watching.